giving up. There's a shot at an Olympic berth here. Ellie St. Pierre and her training partner, Emily Mackay. It's Mackay, St. Pierre and Hiltz. Hiltz is trying to surge to the front. Nikki Hiltz goes to the lead. And Nikki Hiltz is a national champion. Going to Paris and to the Olympic Games for the first time. Look at that time. Nikki Hiltz is back-to-back -back national 1,500-meter champion, but that time of 3.55, 3 is a trials record. Well, Nikki, what does this mean to you, a trials record, and then what you represent for your community there who watches you around the world in a big performance now, heading to your first Olympics? It's unbelievable. I literally can't believe it. I mean, yeah, this is bigger than just me. You know, it's the last day of Pride Month, and this is, I wanted to run this one for my community, and yeah, this is for all the LGBTQ folks. Like, yeah, you guys brought me home that last hundred. I could just feel the love and support, and yeah. to be going with these two, I mean, Ellie St. Pierre has elevated women's distance running, and like, yeah, I saw the time, and I didn't think that was possible, but you know, she's, she's, we all had to rise because of her, so yeah, awesome, awesome team we're sending to Paris. Nikki Hills a female in the United States middle distance runner who is trans identified and non-binary has qualified for the Olympic Games in Paris, France. Hiltz, a 29 year old who uses they, them pronouns, finished first at the women's 1500 meter race at the US Olympic trials. She recorded the second fastest time of any American in the trials. Hilts came out as non-binary and trans identified via an Instagram post, which marks the annual LGBT observance known as the Transgender Day of Visibility. Now in a column published by Runner's World in April 2021, Hilts said that when she turned six years old, she had wished that I would wake up a boy. Six-year-old me expressed my gender identity through having short hair, wearing baseball caps, and refusing to wear dresses, wrote Hiltz. I felt most like myself when I was playing football with the boys during recess. When my dad called me Nick instead of Nikki, and when the substitute teacher would mistake me for a boy, growing up, sports was a place I felt like I could be most like myself. On the playing field, it didn't matter if I was a girl or a boy. I ran fast, and kids always respect the fast kid, regardless of gender. In December 2022, regarding the participation of trans-identified athletes, the International Olympic Committee released a document calling for a sport-by-sport -sport basis in which stakeholders should be guided by each of fairness, inclusion, and non-discrimination when considering whether and how to introduce eligibility criteria for sex-segregated competition. Having said this, let's be crystal clear. Millions of people identify as this or that, but I'm a firm believer in Almighty God and have put my faith in Jesus Christ, and He makes no mistakes. We were created in the image of God, and no matter what direction you steer in, God loves you unconditionally. Let's not get distracted by what's truly important and the only thing that will last for eternity, and that's who and what you put your faith in. Now, my purpose is not to bash anyone who feels that they identify differently than how they were born. As humans, we have a tendency to focus on our feelings and allow our flesh to dictate who we are and what we do. But I pray and encourage each and every one of you to rely more on your faith to get you through these challenging and confusing times. Discovering our true identity can be challenging, especially in a world where everyone seems to be so fluid. Young kids whose brains have not developed are bombarded with gender identity crisis, and it will take a great awakening and healthy parenting to get family centered on Christ and Him alone. This video is bigger than a biologically born female 
identifying as something else, but of the true essence of what it really means to have total faith in our Creator. Genesis 1.27 states, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God's divine imprint on us signifies that we have inherent worth and dignity and sets the stage for understanding our true identity and who we are meant to be. Our feelings and heart is deceiving. There's nothing good within ourselves apart from the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. The redemptive work of Christ is what we should take comfort in. Once we begin doing this, our focus will begin to gravitate towards what's noble and true, which in turn will put the enemy in his proper place. Colossians 3.3 3 goes so far as to say, For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. In his high priestly prayer, Jesus prayed this kind of unity. I pray that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me, I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me, so that they may, so that they may be brought to complete unity. That's found in John 17, 20 through 23. Believers are predestined to be conformed to the image of God. Now, with this being said, what do you guys think about Nikki Hiltz in her Nikki Hiltz in making the Olympic team? Again, this video is not about an individual and what they identify with. Because the way the world is going, people are identifying with anything. I wouldn't be surprised if people start identifying with animals. It's extreme and it's bizarre to think about, but I wouldn't be surprised if that comes true. Again, Jesus loves all of you. He loves you unconditionally. I just want to know what you think of this. As always, thanks for your support and always strive to remain set apart. Take care.